Hello everyone and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today I mean the Pensacola, the tier 7 US cruiser. And I'm on the map hop on the map hotspot in a two-point domination game mode. It's a tier 7 battle, so pretty decent matchmaking. And I'm still a bit undecided what's the best course of action on this map. You pretty much have a defending force and you have an attacking force. And, well, I mean, the safest tactics probably would be for your attacking force just to, like, go home here, rendezvous, and then see what the enemy does. You can also attack, although here the small islands are pretty much destroyer country, if you take the route from the middle, the advantage would be you can support your cap if necessary. But pushing through the middle might be a problem if enemies are coming from both directions and shooting at you. And you can go very close to the zone wall, which is probably the safest route if you really want to attack. But it means you are too far away to support your base if it would be necessary. Now, what I'm doing in this battle is I pretty much saw that a lot of my team is going here on the offensive, so I decided to support them. Also, I'm pretty good at taking out destroyers, and so I can support my destroyers around here. They'll probably spot some enemy destroyers along the way. And yes, this is a little bit of a shorter video. And it was off to a pretty good start until it went horribly wrong. Now I haven't made a lot of cruiser videos lately. Because I just, I don't know, I had quite a few games. Which I was off to a pretty good start. And then there was just like one small mistake or one case of bad luck. And it seemed everything went wrong. Now I thought I'd show you this game. And here we have two enemy cruisers. I'm shooting armor piercing at them. They are kind enough to show me their broadsides. And well, I'm kind of showing them my broadside, but they aren't interested in shooting at me, so I'm I have no reason to angle yet. They are way too interested in this destroyer. And there you go. First blood, nice little citadel hit. Off to a pretty decent start. Now this Cleveland is a little bit out of friends. He's running away. There is a Königsberg coming to reinforce him. As you can see, we have a lot of ships here. Now, fortunately, our battleship decided not to support us, but go more in the middle. It's not necessarily a bad thing where he goes, I'd say, but he just doesn't have, really have any support. And very nice, very nice. Uh, there is the second kill. And now... Let's focus on that Cleveland. I'm still pretty healthy. And oh, there is a destroyer. Right off. I have armor piercing loaded, unfortunately. So, not really the best way to hit the destroyer. And I'm switching to high explosive. Now, here, this starts the problem. I have to turn in order to avoid those torpedoes. But in doing so, I present my broadsides to a battleship and a cruiser. And as you can see, I'm finally taking damage. I'm taking a lot of damage. And my engine is down. Yeah, my engine is down. My repair is down. So, I guess I'll hang around here for a while. Also, my... My back turrets, I think, is damaged, so I can only shoot with one turret. I should really be shooting this Cleveland here, that's, that's a mistake. I thought my team had the Cleveland, but uh, yeah, I really should be shooting the Cleveland.
And can yeah, someone has killed him. So on the bright side, it seems to be only a New York who is shooting at me. On the not so bright side, my ship is heavily damaged. But my repair is ready, so uh, let's repair and get okay. <laughs> uh, critical engine. Yep, critical engine damage. You know, if I could have moved, I might have been able to avoid quite a few shots here by now. But it all went horribly wrong when I had to dodge those torpedoes. And I managed to dodge them, but in doing so, I just got damaged quite a bit. Now, on the bright side, I'm not really showing my broadside. But yes, there is a cruiser incoming and well, I'm just sitting here waiting for my repair to get back up and then I can hopefully move. Now this New York is already pretty damaged. I'm also sitting in a position where I can't get hit by torpedoes through this little gap here, which is, all in all, it's Great. But hey, it doesn't really matter now, does it? I'm burning. And hey, my repair is, is ready and I explode. So it was unfortunately a loss, but despite my early demise, I actually managed to do pretty well. Now was off to a great start, but as you might remember, I got my engine knocked out. It was the first time shortly before the torpedoes arrived. So then I repaired it, dodged the torpedoes and got my engine knocked out again. And I was just sitting there waiting for my repair cooldown to finish. After that, I got my engine knocked out again immediately. And when I was able to repair it, I exploded. So yeah, I guess the lesson would be one might want to take the captain's skill that you can still move with a knocked out engine. Now I do have that on my German, uh, German cruisers and on my Japanese destroyers, but I should probably consider taking it on my US cruisers as well. Also, I guess a premium repair consumable might have helped. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this little game. I thought it was at least somewhat interesting to watch and it shows that everyone has bad luck, everyone has a bad day. Don't let it go your spirits. So I hope you enjoyed this short little video and I'll see you guys next time.